Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon, gentlemen and gentle ladies. I'm making this video here for one purpose and one purpose only. That is to help people who have a Logitech C920 or C922 get the best out of the camera. Now, I know a lot of people when they actually get the camera, or if you've been using it for a while, don't actually have the best settings on it, which, funnily enough, are no settings at all. I'm going to show you what that means in a second. So without further ado, let's get into it. When it comes to old settings on your actual Logitech, you can see here on this video the actual low quality of it right now. It's got low frame rate. There's a bit of a blur. I'm washed out. It's unclear. It's, and it's just got some film grain on there, which is a little weird. And this was all happening because I didn't have my settings put down correctly, which takes literally 10 seconds. And those 10 seconds make a huge difference when it comes to actually streaming or recording a video. Now this here is an example of later on when I got a bit better with the settings. I set them the way they were supposed to be set and I had an LUT, which is like an image LUT. That makes things look a little bit nicer, but it makes a world of difference at the end of the day and everyone should be doing it. Now there are basic things like uh, lighting and having a little light in the background, having people to, or giving people something to look at. But those are things that are, that are kind of separate and with what you have right now, I'm guessing that you have a light in front of you. If you have a light in front of you, that's a start. Not the best, but it's a start. Now my settings right now, I'm gonna show you what they are if you would just like to copy them, but there's one thing that you're gonna to wanna to specifically change just for you. I'm gonna show you what it's like when you get the default settings right out of the box. And you'd think Logitech would give you good settings when it's default in your computer, but everyone's setup, whether it comes down to the lighting, the lights they have in the room, the shade of their skin, you know, the paint on the walls, all of it comes into play with regards to how the camera interprets everything. This is how we'd look with the default settings. So I just turned them on and you can see everything's kind of blurry. It's not the same. My entire skin tone looks different. If I move my hand up and down, you, you know, there's like a blurriness. It's like, like what's, what's going on? You can't see me, man. Bruce Lee. That's because there's all these settings on that are trying to auto automatically adjust, I guess, to what it's seeing. I'm not going to get into the technical jargon. I don't know all of it, to be quite honest with you, but I do know what works. Now, if we look at the settings over here, you got white balance on auto, focus and exposure on auto, and low light compensation. All of these, you want to turn off. The biggest one that's bad for you and the camera is low light compensation. Tick this off, immediately, there's a difference with the frame rate on the actual camera. It's not blurry anymore. You can see what's going on. You know, pretty nice difference. Focus. Honestly, when it comes down to this, it never really makes a difference from my two years of using this camera. I just feel like as soon as you adjust it, you just start getting blurrier. It doesn't make that much of a difference. If you keep it at zero, it's going to always be in focus on you. If you go far back and you really do want to have it on, you can. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I will leave this one up to you guys. But my preference and my suggestion is to take it off of auto and just leave it at zero. Exposure, same thing. Take it off of auto. You're going to see that it just got a little bit darker, but negative five is pretty much the sweet spot to get the highest frames per second when you are using the camera. If you go to negative four, it gets way too bright, you know, and then the frame rate drops again. And you can see that from like the waviness. It's like, what's going on? Well, back to back to basics. You go to negative six, negative seven. Well, damn, bro. It's like a, a, you're in a horror movie now. It's super black. You went from purple to charcoal, man. You went too far. So stay at negative five. Negative five is the best one to use, and it that's what works. This is universal for people that are using a Logitech C922, unless, hold on, you know what? Let me turn on my light to maximum, and then we'll turn it down to negative six and see how it works. This is as, whoo! This is as bright as my light can go. This is super fucking bright. Now, if we turn it down to negative six on exposure, it's, it still looks kind of weird, probably because this light is so strong. What about negative seven? What? Okay. Well, on negative seven, yeah, things are, <laughs> they're a little bit more normal now, I guess, looking, which is surprising. But my light is literally burning my irises. I, I, I couldn't look at the camera for long this way. Like, it's, it is super bright. If you put this back on auto, it, it, it still doesn't work out that well. I feel like anyone who's using a camera normally is going to want to have their light not be so insanely bright. So I'm just going to turn this all the way back down to about about normal, you know, like a, a, a decent amount. Just something obviously nice and easy on your eyes. If you got a, a light that's just in your eyes, like 
you know an alien strobe that's just trying to pierce your irises it's not gonna work out very well anyway you want all of these settings off that's the short form version of it you go over to the left tab same thing you got backlight and gain you want to turn off white balance because you want to set it yourself you go further to the right it's going to get more warm and reddish and go more to the left it's going to get more blue and cold i myself like it around 34 70. i feel like that's what represents the actual colors that are here in my room the most accurately so i keep it here and for you you're going to want to see what works best for you and you got settings up here as well saturation sharpness maybe for these you do want it super saturated you want to look like you're out of a cartoon that's on an acid trip or something like that who knows but i usually keep these just right at 128 keep them at the basic sharpness if you turn that up too high things are going to look over overly sharp if you've ever played around with a photo manipulation software you know what the effect is like if you haven't it's what i just did right there things just don't look that good backlight comp this is another thing that you do want to leave on zero if you can once it turns on it's a very slight effect but it does add a bit of blur not much but a little bit personally for me i sometimes turn it on if i just want the light to be really low and it's hard for people to see me and i am black everyone you've killed big lead murderer hold your fire this man isn't black what so sometimes when you're dark skin you got to do what you can do to actually have people see you. if you're playing a horror game and you got no lights on it is what it is so <laughs> depending on the circumstance again you're going to want to change the settings for that the gain for me as soon as you touch that like if it's at zero no light super dark i usually just keep that at 255 Ooh, that's kind of bright right there I, you know again it, it's always so circumstantial man it changes every time with this stuff you know depending on how bright your light is etc you want to set it to the right little spot and then keep it there don't touch your power line frequency, frequency or anti-flicker. It doesn't really do much to my knowledge. But after you're done, just click apply and everything will stay there. Now, as a recap, immediately when you go plug in your Logitech camera and you go into the properties and settings, you want it to turn off all of the auto settings. This is going to give you more FPS. It's going to let you actually manually adjust the camera so it fits your room or wherever you're streaming or recording from perfectly and have you get the best quality out of your camera. If you stay at the auto settings, you're going to be getting a lower quality video output and that's not what you want if you bought this camera anyway guys that's about it i know there's a lot more things when it comes to like key lights and your main lights lights in the back but i just wanted to make this video for the logitech specifically if you guys do have more things you want me to talk about i can uh when it comes to the youtube channel i don't know exactly what i want the direction of it to go but i'm going to be making videos that honestly i just want to make i know we had that twitch to youtube thing a little while back and i'm still trying to do that posting on all my platforms that I love and going from there. But if you liked the video and it did help you out, hit the like button below, subscribe, and bless up. Stay beautiful, T-Crew.